welcome back to my channel. I'm Jordan. I had it at VHG on September 9th, 2019. And today I'm just giving you an update on the reverse diet, where I'm at now, what I'm doing now, where I'm going, where we're heading, all those things. So two weeks ago, I noticed with the reverse diet, I was at um, 1300 calories and a lot of carbs for my body, about 100 grams a day, which is a lot for me. I don't, my body doesn't process carbs that well anyways, and force feeding it that much with the sleeve, and I'm not even two years out yet. I still have a lot of restriction and stuff. It just wasn't a good fit for me, and I was noticing that I was gaining a lot of weight really fast. And anybody else that I talked to in the, like, in a reverse diet, they're like, yeah, I've gained weight, but not weight like that. So, I just had a gut feeling that this wasn't good, and I tried to stick it out another week. And, um, I started noticing my blood sugar levels and stuff really spiking and dropping and spiking and dropping. And, um, I dealt with that before surgery um, for a lot of years before getting healthy and I did not want to go backwards and for me the reverse diet felt like that I was reversing myself I was doing the things that I like with the, eating so many carbs even though I was trying to make them like complex carbs it didn't matter it was like what I did to get fat it was the same thing to me and it kept my mind in the place of feeling like that all the time and then seeing the scale go up too and my inches were going up it wasn't working like they said that it should for me it just wasn't and I was tracking with the scale I was watching my sodium intake I was doing all of the things I just don't think my body was personally ready for that yet so I came off and now I am back to what I've done all along and what I've done before I started regaining the weight with the reverse. So that is mainly vegetables and fruit, um, protein, my protein I'm intaking every day is about 120 to 130 grams of protein and the rest carbs and fat. So not very many of either of those, just a high protein diet. It's how my body does best and sorry just had some water um i am happy to announce though that the 10 pounds that i gained during the reverse i am down eight of those pounds it goes up and down it's no different than before i just hate it i hate it that i even tried it i wish i could go back and never even start the reverse really so, I don't know, if you're thinking about doing a reverse, let's talk before you do it. I don't want to talk you out of it, I just want to give you some facts and things that I have and didn't work well for me, but I am excited for what's coming this week, so back to normal, back to my normal meal preps. Back to my green smoothies every day. Gosh, I love those things. My body like craved them while I was on the reverse and I tried to fit them in and yeah, it was just crazy. But anyway, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Where I'm going is my goal weight. I'm going to hit that by my two year post-op date. That's in September. I will hit it. Um, I'm gonna be trying some new products and stuff. I'm trying to get away from artificial sweeteners and really clean up my diet the way I had it before doing this reverse. But I don't wanna do it in a way that my body's gonna freak out and go into shock. So I'm gonna be incorporating some different kind of supplements and more natural things like I had been before and just get back to what me, made me feel so good and hit those goals so that whenever it's time for me to schedule my skin removal surgery, I am in the best shape possible to go into surgery. This is a short video. It's just a small, quick update. 
I would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me over on Instagram at Jordan2 underscores Lee, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.